Let's have a conversation about the 10 best no foreign transaction fee credit cards, shall we? Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are doing as terrific as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. Today, I want to have a conversation about a simple topic, the 10 best no foreign transaction fee credit cards available out there. Before we run into the whole countdown, let's first talk about our approach at Sweetie Kiwi, how we want about evaluating those the hundreds of uh, credit cards and, and be able to choose the top 10 no foreign transaction credit cards no transaction fee credit cards available out there Let's get into it. Number 10, you have we have the British Airways Visa Signature Card. We have scored this card at 9 over 10. It's a great card. You got to have ex excellent credit though. 740 to 850 and you earn 50,000 bonus avias after you spend $3,000 on purchases within the first three months from account opening. Plus, you can earn an additional 50,000 bonus avias after you spend $20,000 on your purchases within your first year of account opening. This card overall is great. It comes with an annual fee of 95 bucks. In terms of APR, APR ranges, the regular APR that is, ranges from 16% to 23%. And uh, the one thing we also like is that you have, you receive 10% off British Airways flights starting in the United States when you, when you book within a certain period of the year. Every calendar year, you make $30,000 in purchases on your British Airways Visa card you will earn a travel together ticket good for two years. You pay no foreign transaction fees even when you travel abroad. This is exactly uh, what I just said. And uh, the score here is 9 over 10. Number 9, Discover It Secured Card. Now this is a, a secured card, but it's great. It, we have scored it 9 over 10. You receive 2%, you earn 2% cash back at gas stations and restaurants on up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter and then you receive you can earn unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases automatically and now the what we like about this card is that there is no annual fee so you are you are earning cash back and you build your credit with responsible use and you establish your credit line by providing a refundable security deposit of at least $200 after being approved approved and discover will automatically review your account every every month up to eight months to see if there, there is progress and if there is progress they will actually uh, bump you they'll upgrade you to a, an unsecured credit card you are also getting 100 percent us based customer service and you get your free credit scorecard with your five your fico credit score every month Number eight, we have the Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card. Another great card that we have uh, scored 9.5 over 10. You gotta have credit history, you gotta have a credit score ranging from 670 to 850. And uh, you can earn the regular APR for this card, hovers around um, between rather between 17% to 25%. You earn 100,000 bonus miles when you spend $20,000 on purchases in the first 12 months from account opening or you can still earn 50,000 miles if you spend $3,000 on purchases in the first three months. You earn unlimited two times 
miles on every purchase every single day. The great thing we love about Capital One cars in general is that, and this card is, it, it is true for this card also, is that miles will not expire for the life of the account and there is no limit to how many you can earn. And you receive up to 100 application fee credit for global entry or TSA, TSA pre-check. And there you redeem on travel from vacation rentals to car rentals and more. Plus transfer your miles to over 10 plus travel loyalty programs with this card. Number 7. Bank of America Premium Rewards Credit Card We have given this card a near perfect score of 9.5 over 10. You gotta have good credits, more than good credit. You receive 50,000 online bonus points. This is a $500 value after you make at least $3,000 in purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. You earn unlimited two points for every dollar spent on travel and dining purchases and unlimited 1.5 points per dollar spent on all other purchases so and the great thing here is that if you happen to be a bank of america preferred rewards member you can earn 25 percent to 75 percent more points on every purchase so the opportunity is there so there's no limit to the points you can earn and your points guess what do not expire and you can redeem for cash back as a statement credit deposit into eligible Bank of America accounts, credit to eligible Merrill accounts, or gift cards or purchases at the Bank of America Travel Center. And uh, the, the, uh, there's an annual fee here, of course, and uh, it's a low $95 annual fee. And another thing, another feature about the card that we like is the contactless feature of it. So the security of a chip, you, you have uh, the security of a chip card with the convenience of a tap. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're still having a conversation here around uh, the, the 10 best no foreign transaction fee credit cards. Number six, we have the Platinum Card from American Express. Our score, 9.5 over 10. This card is great. It's, uh, you can earn 75,000 membership rewards points after you spend $5,000 on purchases on your new card in your first six months of card membership. Now, in terms of credit, you have the credit requirements range from uh, 670, the credit score requirement range from uh, 670 to 850. So you got to be above uh, average, uh, above good credit score actually. You can enjoy, you can earn 10 times points on eligible purchases on your new credit card on your, at US gas stations and US supermarkets. That's fantastic here. Uh, the, the, well, of course, with this card, there is a hefty annual fee, 550. So $550, of course, people who are traveling, if you are a heavy traveler, you can actually make up for, uh, for the, you can, you can offset the cost because uh, the benefits, the rewards, the bonus miles, the, the mileage points, all this are good enough to offset the fee. But the fees there is a 550. This is one of the reasons why we haven't we have not rated this card on a, one of the top but it's still great we, we, so great score of 9.5 number five capital one venture one rewards credit card our score here is 9.5 over 10 there is a zero dollar annual fee and no foreign transaction fees you earn a bonus of 20,000 miles once you spend 500 on purchases within three months from account opening equal to 200 dollars in travel you earn unlimited 1.25 times miles on every purchase or every single day. You travel when you want with no blackout dates and fly any airline. You stay at any hotel anytime. And great thing here is that the miles do not expire for the life of the account. And there is no limit to how many you can earn. You can transfer, you can even with this card, with the Venture One card, you can transfer your miles to other, to over 10 times over more than 10 travel loyalty programs and you can enjoy 0% intro APR on purchases for 12 months and, and thereafter it's 15.49% to 25.49% 
Number four, we have another great credit card from Capital One. This is the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card. This, we've given this card a perfect 10 over 10. And uh, because it has the constellation of benefits that we believe will appeal to our viewers and listeners. In terms of, uh, you have an intro bonus of $200. There's no annual fee, of course. APR hovers between 15 to 25%. You can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase every day. No rotating categories or signups needed to earn cash rewards. In addition, the cash back will not expire for the life of the account and there's no limit to how much you can earn. So you have 0% intro APR on purchases for every 15 months and uh, thereafter the APR ranges from 15 to 25%. One thing you, I have to say here is that the the credit score requirements are a little more stringent here because you the the range is 670 to 850 of the FICO score. Next, number three, we have a wonderful discovery cashback card. And our score, we score, we score this card 10 over 10, perfect A plus. This card has gazillions of benefits. You have an, they have an intro offer, unlimited cashback match. So Discover will automatically match all the cashback you've earned at the end of your first year. There is no minimum spending or maximum rewards. So you can turn 150 to 300. You earn 5% cashback on everyday purchases at different places each quarter, like Amazon.com, grocery stores, restaurants, gas stations. And when you pay using PayPal, up to the quarterly minimum up to the quarterly maximum rather when you activate and you can use your rewards at amazon.com checkout you get an alert if you if uh, discover finds um, your social security number on any of thousands of dark websites this is very great we live in a world where cyber cyber security is very important so you want to activate the, that feature on your card and as we know discover is accepted nationwide by 99 nine percent of the places that take credit cards so that's a great uh, that's a great addition there to consider this card and in terms of the regular APR the APR ranges from 12 percent to 23 percent number two the chase Sapphire reserve card perfect score of 10 over 10 this this card requires excellent credit. Your credit must be between 740 to 850. And if you have that, if you qualify, you can earn 50,000 bonus points after you spend 4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. That's 750 towards travel when you redeem through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You receive $300 annual travel credit as reimbursement for travel purchases charged to your card each account anniversary year three times points on travel immediately after earning your $300 travel credit, three times points on dining at restaurants, including eligible delivery services, takeout and dining out, and one point per uh, dollar spent on all other purchases. And you can even get 50% more value when you redeem your points for travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards. So for example, 50,000 points are worth 750 toward travel. Now. This card comes with a, a game with a hefty, I would say, annual fee, which is similar to the one that uh, American Express charges, and that's 550. But again, the benefits are so much that you can very easily offset the annual fee of 550, 500 dollars and fifty cents, uh, 500 500 and fifty dollars. You can offset that amount by all the benefits. The intro APR, the regular APR, ranges from 17 percent to 24 percent. Number one, number one, the best, in our view, the best no foreign transaction fee credit card of all time. It's the Bank of America Travel Rewards credit card. This card has, in our view, a 10 over 10 perfect score. The, um, there is no annual fee. While Chase and American Express are charging you 550 per year, Bank of America Travel Rewards Credit Card does not carry an annual fee, zero. The, re the regular APR is 50, ranges from 15% to 
and um, there, there, there are gazillions of rewards, 25,000 online bonus points after you make at least $1,000 in purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. And that can be a 250 stipend credit toward travel purchases. You can use your car to book your trip how and where you want. You're not limited to specific websites with blackout dates or restrictions. You can redeem points for a stipend credit to pay for a car or a vacation rental, hotels, flights, or baggage fees. And uh, if you are a preferred rewards member, you can earn 25 to 75% more points on every purchase. And you have uh, a contactless card, so you have the security of a cheap card with the convenience of a tap. So Bank of America Travel Rewards Credit Card, in our view, is the best no foreign transaction fee credit card, at least one of the best out there. All right, folks. So we really, so after giving you this uh, this this quick recap, let's have a conversation about the foreign transaction fee. What is it? Foreign transaction fees are charges that credit card issuers and payment networks place on purchases made in a foreign currency or on purchases that involved a foreign bank. So, you know, usually a foreign transaction fee is around three percent of the purchase price. So let's say you spend uh, one hundred bucks you would have to pay an extra $3 in foreign transaction fees. Now, one thing that I want to say is that the the it depends on your travel experience. And um, even though I've said that the average foreign transaction fee is around 3%, that amount varies across banks and credit card issuers. We're showing you right now on the screen a, a little table that we have, we've made where you can see the foreign transaction fee here you can see that american express charges 2.7 percent barclays three percent bank of america three percent capital one zero percent chase three percent city same thing discover zero percent hsbc zero usaa zero percent us bank will charge you three percent and two percent for us dollar transactions and uh, wells fargo will charge you uh, three bucks the thing here is that um, not all credit cards have foreign transaction fees. Generally, they do, but if you're lucky enough or you have good credit, you, you wouldn't have to pay a transaction fee. Now, when you are traveling, let me give you a few tips for spending internationally before, during, and after travel. You got to know your card terms, folks. You got to know your card conditions. Research your overseas bank network. So let's say if you are if you with City or you with uh, Bank of America, you want to research Cities or Bank of America's overseas network before you even travel. Even better, always pay in the local currency, because sometimes foreign merchants will offer to convert your purchase to U.S. dollars before you pay with your card. You want to decline so that you avoid dynamic currency conversion costs that you will have to shoulder. Right, because a lot of places try to say convenience, but guess what? The rate is not favorable to the traveler. And you also want to call your bank. You want to have a conversation with your bank before you travel. Use only credit abroad. You want to try the local apps. All right. Now, when it comes to when it comes to making the right decision about your card, you have to know your decision. You have to know your situation rather. If you're trying to get a uh, to to get the best no foreign transaction fee card, you have to think about your, your personal situation. Are you a, a heavy traveler? Are you a, an occasional traveler? All right. All right. We are about to wrap up to this conversation. And I'm going to quickly give you a recap of the best, the 10 best no foreign transaction fee credit cards out there. Number one, Bank of America Travel Rewards Credit Card. Perfect score, 10 over 10. Number two, Chase Sapphire Reserve Card. Perfect score also, 10 over 10. Number three, Discover It Cashback. We have given this card also a perfect score of 10 over 10. Number four, Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards Credit Card. 10 over 10 also. Number five, Capital One Venture One Rewards Credit Card, 9.5 over 10. Number six, the Platinum Card from American Express. Our score, 9.5 over 10. Number seven, Bank of America Premium Rewards Credit Card. 
with a score of 9.5 over 10. Number 8. The Capital One Venture Rewards Credit Card. Our score is 9.5 over 10. Number 9. Discover It Secure Card. Our score is 9 over 10. And last but not the least, the British Airways Visa Signature Card. And we have rated this card 9 over 10. Thank you so much for, for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But um, until we meet again, you have a wonderful time. God bless and stay marvelous. <laughs>